Welcome back to Gray Squadron Gaming. We have another exciting episode in our Star Wars Legion Battle Report series. Will episode. It be exciting? It's always exciting. Hopefully. 122. This is the Patreon battle. And I thought, hey, I went to the top list, randomized it. It's like, boop, this popped up a Rebel list with Ewoks. I'm like, we got more Ewok village stuff from Legion Trains. Let's show off a full Ewok village map. So I'll show you that, guys, in a second. But first, my list is by. Jexter. Jexter. So thank you, Jexter. I've got Leia Organa, a commanding presence with Vigilance and Portable Scanner. I got my boy Wicket with Tenacity, Situation Awareness, and Forest Dweller. Two Skirmishers, both with the Axe and the Call to Arms. One Slingers with Trapper, Dweller, and Up Close and Personal. It's a loaded Slinger. Two units of Wookiee Warriors, because if you have enough small fur, you need some big fur to balance it out. And both these Wookiee Warriors have the Shield, Tenacity, and the Recon Intel. Then um, not seen in the picture because they're actually below them down down there. They're up in the trees. Those are the ground dwellers. Yeah. We have three units of rebel troopers. Two have the ion gun. One has a med droid. And then I have an ATRT with a laser cannon. It's 11 axe at 800 points even. I'm sure. <laughs> I didn't even know you had an ATRT with a laser. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> we, picked, we picked random lists, but you'll see why it sucks for four dollars in a second. But I'm fade. I don't have a lot of range stuff, so I think I think he'll, I think he'll be better than he thinks he is. But a big shout out to all you patrons, all you viewers, subscribers, commenters, likers. We thank you guys so much because we hit eight thousand a couple episodes ago, which is really a big thank you. Keep sharing the love, keep sending us out, keep telling other people to watch us and check us out. If you are a Patreon, thank you so much. If you're interested, information below. Get all kinds of goodies for our Patreons, different tiers, different levels you can invest. If you're a commander, you get to send us these lists that we get to play and. We'll play them exactly as you rate them up, yeah. whether they're amazing or maybe less amazing. We'll, we'll play them either way. And I, I always joke sometimes, like some guys, I'm like, I wonder if they if they thought these upgrades worked good, or maybe we just don't pile it right, or are they messing with us? I think a lot of times they're like, I wonder what this would look like. Let's let Joe and Don try Let's it out. Let Joe That's why we pay them, right? That's right. So thank you guys so much. We appreciate it. I'm excited to run this one because I haven't run the um, Ewoks besides a Slinger unit in a while. So let's go look at... Uh, oh, big shout out to the Commanders, though. Huge shout out to the Commanders. Jamal Alahadi, Alex Bingham, Anthony Minerva, Paul Jorgensen, Jess David, Arkan Dan, Michael Hume, Jason Tatro, Evan Christensen, Jacob Flecka, Ryan and Peyton, Peyton Archer, Thunderbound, Thomas Trotman, Gregory Williams, Eli Arthur and Walden Kaywood, Anthony Binobo, Flobit, Anthony Hosking, Ethan McKinney, Grant Sunier, Sozo, Grimoire Gamer, and Jabra75. We could not do this without you guys. We appreciate all of you Patreons. We appreciate all you subscribers. We appreciate you people who didn't subscribe for some odd reason, but keep watching our videos anyway. Thank you for doing that. Let's go see my list. All right, and I have a list by Anthony Bunomo. He gave me a T-Series with a comms relay, a naked unit of the BX droids, a two Persuader tanks with comms channel, tech protocols, and high energy shells. Two B2s with the B2 ACM trooper. Ooh, it's been a while since we I know, ACM it's been there. a while for that, that one for me as well. Uh, one B1 with an HQ uplink, and then three B1s with the rocket. Oh man, you should be able to shred my ATRT this time. I should be able to. No spoilers That's... if you haven't seen last week's episode, but there might have been a little yeah, trouble killing yep. an ATRT last um, week. So mine came in to 795, so we're going to be make me blue player, and we'll go take a look at the cards. Well, we're having a hard time not laughing over here tonight. Let's it's go to more America's... of a Joe thing, not a weird thing. But yeah, let's, let's do this. Let's go to America's favorite game show, worldwide game show, Flip or Pass. Worldwide. I don't know. Do you want to flip Prestige or do you want to pass? Prestige worldwide. We're flipping key positions. Flipping key positions. Not liking that one, huh? We'll just flip flip this one right here. I don't like this one at all. Uh, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip breakthrough. Bombing run. You got some tanks to drop off the bombs with? I do. Payload. Halo, you say? Battle Lions. I don't like either of those. <laughs> so I'm being honest. I mean, like, I don't want this, and I don't want these with this. I don't have a choice. Well, I don't have anything of any kind of speed whatsoever. So we're going to flip this. And so we'll do Battle Lions, Payload, and some Minefield. It's a, it's a Payload-y kind of mine kind of ranch. So I'll just push these out of the way here. We'll show the giveaways. We got some new giveaways from Adepticon. We'll start with the one you guys see before we got, I got a whole bunch of more regular old arts from them. So there's one. And we'll get to some good stuff that, you, that maybe everyone hasn't seen yet. They're we all got, good things. Whoever wins the Yoda, it's not like it's a bad Yoda. We've got the Genos Warrior alt art, which has the full art. Very cool looking. We've got some Geonosins Poggle and Sunfact box. Brand new one open. And then probably the coolest prize besides the model this one is the Foil Bosk. I think the Foil Bosk is kind of cooler than Poggle. And so I'm pretty sure it is cooler. Yep. Foil Bosk card will be the big Lying one. Lying in Wait. So if you want Lying in Wait Foil or any of these other cards, comment below to get entered into win. 
Listen for the word of the day for double entries. Find our social media posts. Comment on those. Give you more double entries. Um, Become a Patreon at any any level, and you get even more entries. The shrine on this card's really nice. It's really great. Um, yeah, Patreon's bonus entries depending on their tier as their Patreon level. Too. So with that said, um, let's go check out the board. Welcome to round one, where we have a couple um, strikes and bombardments happening. We have Orbital Strike from the Droids 2-Pip. Once, once the round, at the end of activation of a friendly droid commander or friendly field commander, it may perform the following weapon. And I have the OG command coordinated bombardment from Leia. At the end of Leia Organa's activation, she may perform up to three attacks against three different enemies using the following weapon there. So here's our map for the night. This is the Rockin' Ewok Village. We're Double rocking around the, the clock. Village. Yeah, well, they sent us some more Ewok stuff so I could really expand this village and make it more of a whole map experience instead of having half occupied, half unoccupied. I wanted the whole thing to be unoccupied. So just showing the different views of the huts and stuff. All this is modular. You can take it any way you want. This hut can come off. This can come off. You can add more trees to make them taller, as you can see here. These nice little mushrooms act as ledges for everything to hold on to. So it's just, it's just really nice. So yeah, you can change those trees around and stuff. Yeah, anyways, everything on this map is from Legion Train. The scatter, the rocks, everything is from them. So check them out. Just kind of go below the mat that we're playing on. This awesome earthy, foresty mats from Gray Matter Gaming. Check that out. These awesome token holders that you see. It holds templates. Holds the curled paw tokens. It's from J Squared. And the tokens are themselves are from curled paw. Speaking of J Squared and curled paw, they also just, uh, you guys play Unlimited. They launched a couple new things. By the time this video comes out, they're not too, too new. But they have the curled paw tokens. And, of course, J Squared made a holder for it. And this is, the limited edition comes in red, blue, green, yellow, and black to match the aspects. You can also get an add-on to hold the lovely um, Twin, Twin Suns. Suns format. So you can click onto any one you want. So this is red and blue, for instance. You can have it match the same color. There's black ones with the Twin Suns on the bottom. So yeah, check those out if you're interested. Uh, what else? Am I missing any other? Gift a game. Shout out to them. Local game store. Appreciate everything everyone does. Uh, Turn-wise, I gave my order to Leia, which I have not put out yet, but she'll have the order. Mines are, he put one here. And here, because my card has to get to where Gary the Snail Tank is right now. Thanks for Bob for letting us have Gary tonight so we could have two tanks That's on the true. That's true. There's my card. His card's in the same spot in the middle over there. And I put my mines well there and there on the way to his bombing destination. That's how we did that. Wicket scouted up. The Wookiees and the Slinger scouted up. I got my both Ion units there. The other Ewoks, etc. is all around the backside. He's got B1 Ching line with some B2s on that tank. BX is up top, and then this one way over here is B2s with another tank. I'm trying to probably flank my Wookiees, my fur pile. This should be a good one. I am one pip goes first. Let's go to me. Let's go with Miss Leia Organa. Leia has got purple scanners on top of her, so she's got take cover three. So we're going to give a dodge out to the Ewoks, the Rebel Troopers with the Medroid, and herself. Always oh, great. We're going to take an aim because we're going to be coordinating a barn and some things. We're going to go ahead and shoot the BXs up in the tree there. And then probably just some B1s I can see, just to thin them out a little bit, because sure. they're lower health and less uh, defense dice. Let's go with that. Let's do it. I have Sharpshooter 2 on Leia, so none of this is going to have cover. Two red dice. I do Surge to crit. Um, nothing else really matters here. See me in Deflect if that came up. BX Droids first, with an aim. We'll get two crits. That's going to be extra right. Good start. I guess I save one. Okay, we'll go with the, the B1s closest to the cart with the rocket launcher. Two more on them. Two deadly ones. And the last one, the, the rocket launcher right next to them, if you will. All right, I'm going to start with my silver unit, which is the unit that has the HQ uplink. They are going to take a dodge for their first action, and then they are going to go ahead and move up just a hair right into this bomb area, and uh, we'll see what happens. Well, they put their metal foot down as a blow up. Let's see, it, uh, it does. It does, just the one time though. So we'll so roll against good. them and see what happens. All right. And that's the end of that unit's activation. This is a red and a black dice, blast and impact with a uh, search crit, I think, right? Search crit. Yep. He's got uh, a dodge, so let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> no dodge for you, sir. All right. Two more dead Look, you made those blink too, that was pretty cool. Oh, yeah, special forces here. That's going to be, let's go with the Wookiees are closest to that tank because they, they, they don't want to be there. They should. They just don't want to be there. They there. That's a great place for Wookiees. Um, so be. they're currently in their armor one defensive positions. I think what we'll do is we'll just move once to come in front of the blue guy. Sure. And I was thinking about coming here. And before I go with my second activation, we should talk about the train real quick. Everything that's a tree or a form of tree, like the stump and the down tree, it, the log is going to be heavy. 
the mounds of dirt and grass and all the scatter around the board are going to be light. The ladders would count as light if for some reason you're shooting through them. But also, if you stop touching it, you can end your turn touching it up there. You kind of treat it like the old scale. Like the old scale, yeah. Just to yeah. make it easy for all these troops without jumps. So that way, if you end here, you come up there. You can't trigger charges or anything else off of it. It just moves you up. Um, anyway, so my second action, I thought about going up there. Uh, I don't know if that's any better being up there, except if I get permanent heavy cover. But then I have to find a way down eventually to charge. So I think what we'll do is we're gonna just going to kind of come on the other side of the ladder, like right to here, touch touching it, but not using it. Okie dokie. Actually, we're going to go just slightly back. All right. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go with these B green B1s here. They have one suppression on it. They're going to take it off. It would have been nice to see that block on a dodge instead of a uh, suppression roll, but we're going to move up just into range for this ATRT here. He's got it. And we will uh, shoot a rocket at it. That's his view if you were curious. He sees lots of droids coming at him. If he actually his binocular vision, he sees that. All right, so the rocket launcher is two blacks and a red. It is impact two, shooting into this full armor ATRT. And those will both just impact into two crits. Man, guys, I almost gave him the dodge to Leia, which he would have only taken one here. I should have done that. You should have. Unlike the clone ATRT, these do not surge to block, so it's just looking for straight up blocks at this point. We got the surge, which with the clone would have been good, but two go through. Here we go, my second core. Let's go with the uh, Wicket Warriors, I like to call them. They, uh, they wear the same garb as Wicket because, well, they're his warriors. That's what they do. So they're going to take a move action for the first action, get behind this nice line of sight blocking log, if you will. And then we're going to move again and really tuck up in there. Double Tucking move. Tucking up in there with your tiny, tiny little Wookiee. Or Ewoks. <laughs> Mini Wookiees. Mini Wookiees. All right, going to go over here to the purple unit of B1s. We're going to do the same thing we just did with the green ones. They're going to hold on to their suppression, but their B1, or B, B1s don't care. So we will just move right up here. And then they will take a rocket shot into the um, ATRT. ATRT. Also, we decided off camera after we said it that the Ewoks are mini Wookiees for this episode, which means that's the bonus word already, guys. It's mini Wookiees. Mini Wookie. Designer Wookiees. Purse-sized Wookiees. You stole my joke. You I did. Jerk. Say that. <laughs> he said it off camera. It was beautiful, and so I had to seal it. Do <laughs> a little bit. I was like, you know, it's all the range in Coruscant. All the ladies have a little little Ewoks or I mean, mini Wookiees popping out of their purses. You know, it's it's, it's a fad. It's, it's a true. fad. All right, two blacks, one red. Impact two again. Just two, it two is. again. Okay, let's see if I can get a white block now. No surging, no surging, no blanks. Come on, one block. Two more. We broke already? Four, right? It is four. I don't know. I don't remember when you break. I think it's four. I'll roll it. If not, I'll take it back. It's the double one. It is four. Yep. He's, he's almost dead already. Going to my stack, we got some trooper units. Let's go with the rebel troopers. They are not furry. <laughs> so move to here. <laughs> they are not furry. And just in case people were wondering if they were sure, furry or not. Sure. The answer is no. But do they own a designer Wookiee? No, 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 these these guys are these guys are poor, man. Pocket Wookiees. They're they're about liberating the pocket Wookiees from the slavery of Coruscant. <laughs> That's about the rebels. Okay, so I moved up, definitely within range three of these rebel droids. I couldn't get in range three of the tank B ones, B ones or B ones, and so unless I wanted to go in no man's land. Oh, I just triggered that palm. Oh, you did. Perfect. <laughs> roll it. Roll that red defense. We'll roll dice. the we'll roll the defense dice off. Uh -huh. We'll go with the dice box and do it all because I'm gonna tap. Okay. Me getting too too excited. Totally forgot about the bomb. So does it go off? It does. It does. Just the ones, though. Just the one. I mean, that's... So red, black? Red, black. Red, black. Surge, Surge crit, crit, blast. Two. I got one, though. I don't lose one dice. That's not too bad. I'll take that. Okay. So we're now rolling three blacks, two reds, impact one, iron one on these B1 droids. No aims, no surging, no nothing. We're tapping this iron gun because I don't know how long I'm going to be alive to use it. Ooh. I can imagine it's I have not some bad. form of cover there. It's not bad. Let's think see. The... I'll take a look. But... Okay, it's light cover, so one will drop. Impact one will kick it, or there's no impact. It's just nope, ion. Just ion. So if I do a damage, it's ion. Oh, there's definitely damage. Yeah, let's go over here to the blue B ones. They are gonna move up, and we just want to get range four on our friend the ATRT here. So we're not gonna go all the way up. We'll just go next to the leader here, and we will take a shot with the rocket into them. Okay. All I right. have a guess. It's gonna be two hits and the two crits. We'll see. No, oh. just one. No, no. nothing. Nothing. I'll take that. That's a lucky break for the ATRT. He lives. Go to my stack. We've got the ATRT who lives. He does have the broken. I gotta roll a dice. If I get any paint, he gets two actions. Nope, just one. So instead of not shooting, and there's really nowhere for him to run and hide, we're just gonna yep. shoot the laser cannon into the same droids we've been working on that are down a couple. You know, with all this elevated terrain, it's very hard to get good shots in here. Yeah, go down like gorilla style. Yeah. I mean, this has been much better against tank, but there's no way to get there because I'm out of range and I have only one action. So one red, two black, surging the crit, impact won't matter. 
the B1's light cover, I think, but we'll double I think check. light cover, yeah. So I do search of crit, so one will drop from light cover, so it's gonna be two. Two All more right. down. So I'm gonna go with my T-Series. He's just gonna move slightly back here. And he's going to bolster and give a, a surge token to the tank and a surge token to the B2. Oh, bolster's trooper only, sir. Is it true? No, I'm just joking. I just really wanted to see that confused look. I wish I was what? filming your face to show everyone your face. Why do you have to do this to me? You, just, <laughs> you beat me at this game mercilessly, and then you're like, oh, also, I'm going to make you look like a dummy. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. You this know, is how you play with your friends, guys. That's You know how like, you, you cat lovers out there, you know how cats show their love sometimes by being a little bit of a jerks? That's how I show my love to you. That's why I don't like cats. That's why I like cats. Who doesn't like cats? I don't like cats. I love cats. Okay, got another core. It's just Rebel Trooper in here. They're going to move just slightly to right there. My poor purple B1. We're going to also the shoot the ion left. gun because why wouldn't we? And we're going to see if we can take him out. Let's do it. This is probably overkill for 1B1. But I'm adding the ion gun just to help the dice pool because <laughs> Rebel Troopers who don't search sometimes don't hit nothing. So let's just see what we get. It, it really wasn't that crazy overkill because it's only going to be, what, three after cover? Three after cover to kill. Two. One. <laughs> one B one. If I didn't have the two reds, it would have been a one. No blocks there. Right, we're gonna go ahead and go with the tank. Um, we are gonna do just a little bit of a pivot here before its movement. And then we will we're gonna just move into range two of these. Do you guys like friendly. that expertly used? It was movement expertly stuff. movement. <laughs> I, I, it's hard to do it with that big of a base and moving and pivoting and driving through ladders. There's a branch two over there. So yeah, we're getting just into range two of the Wookiees there okay. for no specific reason. And then we will shoot them. All right, okay. so we're going to throw the high velocity rockets into this one. So it's going to be two whites, or I'm sorry, two reds and a white for that. And then the main gun is one red, two black, two whites. So it's a total of three whites, three reds, two blacks, search to hit, into heavy cover, armor, one Wookiee. Got that this shield. Is critical two. Um, that, it's still having some blank reds, which is so great. The cover so leads to two. Just two. Just two. Okay, so Wookie's not dying, but I haven't rolled any blocks yet. Let's see if we can change that. Oh, two wounds on the Wookie. Here in my stack, we've got Mr. Wicket of the Warriors. I got a couple markers out there to keep track of where the mine token is and stuff. He remembered it this time. I did. So we're gonna I kind of wanted Wicket to eat it. We're gonna, he has two dodges. He might not be a bad one to eat it, but that's your bomb for later. So I don't want to deprive you of that, Lilius. Well, so He'll move to there. Okay. And I think I want to move in a way where I can get into range of that little boil there. But not a ton farther than that, really. So, yeah, we'll just almost do a full movement, but we're going to come to, like, about here. I'll play okay. with the angle so I can see at least two. I think I can see two from there now. Okay. I can only kill one. So I don't really need to see two, I guess. Actually, we're going to hug this thing. This I was going to say, one. you can only see one. <laughs> I only throw one dice. That's true. Okay, so this is a black dice only. It does have sharpshoot two, surge to create pierce one. So if you get it through, it hits. That's true. But it, I, I don't have a name. So let's see what we get. Well, look at miss. Aha! That sling just didn't, didn't sling the, the right The rock way. just fell off. All right, these B2s riding dirty over here are going to take an aim, and they are going to shoot into those Wookiees up there. Mm, took two wounds last one. Probably take a few more with this one. Luckily, it doesn't have blast. So we still have that heavy cover. Earlier, by the way, he realized he took a surge on the tank. So before he was him, he, he's so used to running experimental droids, he forgot that the tank normally does yeah. surge. This is the good version of the snail tank. I yeah. forgot. It's fine. We're shooting th uh, each of the regular B2s is a black and a white. So it's three blacks, three whites, and then the B uh, the ACM is three reds. So this is a triple rainbow. I have an aim. I have one search token. And they're Wookiees in heavy cover with armor. Armor one. It's a lot um, of surges. We'll oh, my God. And you got a lot of surges. The aim, I guess, on... Two, and we'll spend the surge because we can. So you lose three, two to cover, one to armor. So I'm looking at a two pack again. I'm not mad about these two packs. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. We're still we're still continuing the train no blocking. So one Wookiee does unfortunately fall. Another Wookiee takes a wound. My second core. Let's whoosh, let's go over here to the uh, reddish kind of maroon looking bears, the mini Wookies. <laughs> yup, dub. They're gonna. Ooh, thought, for half a second, I, they thought about climbing, but you know what? No, that's not what they do. We're just rushing in here. So we're going to come to about here, and I'm going to actually turn this just a little bit, tuck them in just a tiny bit more than I will. right there. All right. Oh, Rico here, and they're good chilling there. All right, go to my stack here. It's a core. That's what you want to see. Which is not what I wanted to see, because they're not going to be able to do anything. They're going to take a, a dodge and a standby. Dodge and standby. Does the standby drop when you move? I always forget that in transport. I don't know. Also, better. because I'm nice, Don totally forgot about his orbital strike this time. I'm, well, let's just roll it now. Okay. This is not a tournament game, I mean. So, who do you want to shoot with your orbital strike? Um, want to try to take out the ATRT? No, because the, the, it's not. Oh, it's suppressive. That's right. Uh, Do you like a rebel trooper? Perhaps? Yeah, we'll shoot one of the rebel troopers. Okay. Why not? This one has less health. You want to shoot that one? Let's, let's shoot that guy. Okay. 
Once again, we're going back in time because poor Don just got a lot in his mind with mini Wookiees attacking him, so we're just going to help him out. All right, so it's two, bad, two black strips. We're just going to bring a heavy cover down to light, and he doesn't search anything. So. It's going to be two. Oh, oh my gosh. There they are. Guess it didn't matter. <laughs> just a couple of suppression. suppression. Good my sec, we got a core, and the only core I haven't activated yet is going to be these Rebel Troopers hiding behind this tree that have um, a heal box. Sure. So we're going to put them here for the first action. And I think we're just going to bring them out over here on the side. That way they're closer to the rest of the army, and they can help move the cart if you need to. That sounds smart. All right, we'll go to my stack here. It's going to be the tank, and the tank, unfortunately, has AI. So it is going to AI aim with its attack protocols. And then we're already in range, and I can see one of the Wookiees up there. So we're just going to shoot that Wookiee up there. And we will tap the shells on that one as well and so see what we can do. That's the main problem with the mini Wookiees. Is their huts are smaller, so the Wookiees can't fit really nicely in them, so they're kind of just stuck out in the open. All right, it's going to be two reds and a white for our shells, and then one red, two black, two white for our primary. I have an aim. I have precise two into heavy cover armor Wookiees. This is going to hurt. Two. That's Got a good that. start. Hey, look, you have just enough precise to re-roll everything. Um, yeah, we'll spend... Uh, well, I could re-roll one additional. Um, Why would you roll an additional? Because I can. I have precise two, so I can roll four dice. I don't oh, have to, yeah, but I could. Right. Okay. So uh, we'll, we'll get that, and then that will be one of our critical. Okay. Um, so heavy cover we'll kicks in. We'll lose heavy cover and, and armor. How much impact do you have? Uh, it's not impact. It's critical. Oh, neither of your guns have impact? No, it's the other primary. The oh, other. okay. So good. It actually did help. So there's four left only. Okay. So you're telling me it's another Wookiee. Probably two Wookiee, my fault, because I only have two health on one Wookiee. No, you don't have five. You only have four, so I can't lose two months. We block one, take three. That does down the Wookiee and add a wound to the next Wookiee in line, the Battleship Wookiee. Go to my stack. We got the Ewok Slingers. Let's go with them first, since all the tanks are now gone at this point. So they don't like being pincer maneuvered by two tanks, so they're just going to sprint. I don't know what you're talking as about. As fast as the legs can, and they're going to actually touch this and go up there. Scurrying little Ewoks. And that's them. I'll reco here. All right, last but not least is going to be my BX droids here. AI move is going to kick in. We're just going to AI move slightly closer to the uh, Wookiee here just so I can see him. And then we will shoot him. Okay. You have to roll oh, off I do have to roll expression. expression. They won't infect it's you. It's there. But... Okay, perfect. All right, this is going to be six white dice. It is uh, sharpshooter one, so heavy cover down to light and they search to hit. I have armor one. That's a good that's, roll. That's not bad though. So these will surge to hits. We'll lose two because of heavy cover uh, down the light. I'll cover armor and one. armor. So three into that Wookiee. Right. Oh, shoot, the Wookiee's going to go down. He's only got two health left, so he's probably falling here, boys. But he'll try. He does not block he did anything. Try. If he surged, oof. He did try. But he will go down and another wound on the leader. But hey, that unit survived a B2, two tanks, and a BX and still didn't fall. So That's true. I'll consider that a, my, a moral victory it's here. It's a pretty a little bit. victory victory, actually. It's just a regular victory. Okay, my last thing is my Wookiees over here. They're going to switch their uh, shield to the battle shield just because... um, They don't want to go so slow. They don't want to go so slow. They're trying to run. There's a tank over there. They're not worried about that tank. that tank. No matter where I run, there's a tank. But at least this way we can try to regroup with some people and move up the battlefield a little bit. So they'll move once there. We're going to be just shy of that... I don't think there's any room up there anyways. But we're going to be just shy of yeah. that thing. That the Ewoks took all the space. But and I'm going to reco here in a way I think that can hopefully give me cover from most angles. That seems fair. So we got this, this snail did nothing. No, no, this one did, did kill a Wookiee. That killed, they, it's just the everybody B2s. kind of killed a Wookiee. The B2s didn't. Yeah, the B, B2s, they just got to hang out. Um, but uh, we'll move some bomb cars and then we'll go in around two. Welcome around two, we're here with one pip, mechanized incursion. This is one vehicle unit after a friendly vehicle unit is issued in order. Choose a friendly droid trooper unit, range one to two of it, issued in order. I went with Sneaky Scouting. It's a Wicket card. Choose up to two enemy units at range two of Wicket. They each gain two observation token. When a friendly unit declares an attack against the unit that has observation token this round, they may spend an observation token to add search to crit to the attack pool. Fancy. So Wicket, way in this log here, gave it to the blue rocket launcher B1s there, and the green rocket launcher B1s there. Gave them each two observation tokens, and he took the order himself. That's my order control, which means my stack has ten things in it. Meanwhile, his one piff. So I gave the order to the tank with our uh, onboard comms. I gave it to the B2s. I used the um, order that the tank gets to pass to go to them. And then I used my direct to issue an order there. And then they coordinated there and ended on um, the T-series. Perfect. So everybody over here has an order. And these guys, I really suck at AI. So but I'm happy yeah. about that because they're coming out no man's land at the point. They can't move and shoot. It's not possible. 
right, we're gonna go ahead and go with the green unit here. We're gonna recover for their first action and then shoot the ATRT with our second. He's down to two still, so this could be this could be Gonzo. All right, so the rocket launcher going into the ATRT is two blacks and a red. It is impact two, and that's that's. Hey, my armor canceled one. Two crits. Unfortunately, I need a, an actual natty block here, or my ATRT goes down. We'll get, we'll get two. That's okay. that's. And then uh, the B the B ones that didn't get to shoot a rocket, they see some uh, they see some Wookies over there. They're gonna shoot. They're in heavy cover, but their shields down, so no armor here. Yeah, he's running, so his shields at his hip. So it's just gonna be a suppression. Okay. Look at my stack. We got a special force. Let's go with this Wookie who's in trouble up here. Sure. Do we have red dice over here, sir? Uh, we have one over there. I can roll it three times, I guess, and do or it old school. Just go grab some dice. Shh. Whatever you want to do. Who does that? All right. We have a Donald Sweet Rod dice. It's gonna be one suppression off. Two suppression off. We'll keep one. Okay, so I flip this to one. We're gonna use our action to move over here. Okay, okay. We're just hiding from that tank over there because he can't do anything besides move. Not that anything else can't. You do have me. two actions. I know. And then my second action, we're going to um, dodge and hang out here for a turn. Sounds great. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go with the blue B ones over here. They are going to recover as well, and they're gonna shoot their rocket into the tank. The rest of the B ones are gonna shoot uh, the um, Ewoks because. I forgot that adding suppression to Wookiees does nothing. All right, so the rockets, two blacks, one red. Impact two into our friendly neighborhood ATRT. Just one impact there. Whew, not dying, but I'm gonna probably get hurt here. I'll take a wound, but I'm alive right, with one. And then I'm gonna throw the other five white dice because one of them can't see into the slingers up top. I'll have heavy cover plus, but we're just looking for a suppression Ooh, hopefully. And the surge token. Or just or three, three crits. crits. That, that will really hurt. Okay, that was nasty. We will expend our search token to block one. We will lose two of our precious slingers, but the other, the other one's I'll okay. I'll take that. Well, somehow we pulled him. We get, he's got, he's up to five. He's almost dead, but he's going to go he's, one more time. He really should be dead. This is for his... Oh, he gets two and actions. he gets two actions. It's like insult to injury. So we're going to aim and shoot those green B1s that just shot me. All righty. Okay, it's black, black, red. I don't need to spend the observation token for a search to crit, because he searches crit natively. If we have an aim, let's see what happens. There's one crit, and it's heavy cover, you said? Yep. So we'll spend the aim to see if we can go crit fishing here. No, so we'll just keep it at one, I guess. I don't really want to waste off these tokens. Okay, that's a dead one. We're going to go to the BX droids here. They do have an order this time, so we get to aim. So we will take an aim, and we will shoot into the Wookiee there. He's shooting this lone Wookiee right here. All right, those, so this is going to be six white dice. It is uh, sharpshooter one, so heavy covered down to light. We have an aim. We search to hit. And we'll spend that aim. And we will get nothing because cover is going to turn that into a blank, and then I would imagine you're spending their dodge. Oh, because heavy on the light? Yeah, definitely spending the dodge. Though. Okay. When you have a target in your sights, you don't waste it. So what we're going to do, um, we're going to, this unit gains one suppression token, and this unit gains charge to the end of the round. We're going to pop called arms. We're going to blow that horn. They do have a horn. So they're going to come up, and they're going to double move here. One. As you can see, two gets me well within the range, so we'll, let's probably come along the side of him is my my guess here. That's what I kind of want to do. So let's uh, see how far we can go, Don. And then we'll uh, we'll swing away, and with that observation token, we'll spend one to give him surge of crit for this attack. It's going to be a good hit. Okay, so we two observation tokens. We're going to spend one right off the bat. We'll have one left if we really want to use it. This is going to give me surge of crit for this attack. The regular Ewoks each throw a black in melee. The axe adds a red with pierce one and impact. won't matter. So I'm going to roll seven dice with surge of crit now. Seems, seems kind of nice. Pretty good. Pierce one. Oof, or you could just two, roll all natural hits. Four, six of my seven go through. Pierce one, I'm just going to leave that. We're going to save this observation. In fact, there's no reason to. Say, there's no reason There's to. no reason to save it. Let's yeah, see if we can max it out. They're going to die. You searched the crypt, so we, got, we got used to that. Crit, so just all seven, seven, seven six, pierce one. one. How many people are left in that unit? Four? four. Oof, I guess if you super natty, maybe. <laughs> well, Pierce, you're only one. I got one. Right, we're going to go with the B2s, and there's a whole bunch of Ewoks here that I have to take care of. So what we're going to do is we are going to get off of the tank. So we'll go into base contact. We'll do our speed one move and touch this tree here, which happened to be the only thing that was giving our friendly neighborhood Ewoks cover. And so we will shoot into them. It's going to be ouch time. But you know what, Ewoks, you're brave. You're brave souls, man. You just, just fine. All right, so this is just a triple rainbow. It's three reds for our ACM and then two white, or I'm sorry, a black and a white for each of the regular B2s. They have no cover because I'm touching the log. And that's a blank, that's a blank, that's a blank, that's so a blank, four. that's a blank. Well, they're not dying, but it's still four. We only block on blocks, no surging. We'll lose four of my seven. They're down to only three. That's, you, you, your Rebel Trooper one is the one that's on the bottom. 
Don't worry, guys. We know what we're doing. This oh, is I already a pulled it. Game. Sorry. <laughs> I pulled it off camera. So this we got. We're going to go with these rebel troopers here. Sure. We're going to move up to this little uh, orange scatter train here. Sure. Because we're brave rebel troopers. And we see that there's a wicket's rallying us with this expert, uh, lovely surging ability. So we're going to move to here. And we're going to shoot the blue B1s. All right. And Gun is fortunate tap, so he'll just throw a black dice. So it's five black dice. I will pop one of the observation tokens, leaving one left on them, so I can roll surge to crit for this attack. Let's do it. Just, just a suppression. I'll take it. So we're gonna go with the silver we ones here. They are gonna just step back, right back here, and uh, make sure we give ourselves as little cover as possible, but they'll get heavy cover because they have a suppression anyway and low profile, and we'll shoot into them. Okay, another quick error I wanna note here before we go too far is that these guys did have heavy cover from them. There was suppression over here we forgot was theirs from their call to arms, so when they shot them, they would have had heavy cover. Since we gave Don his shot back, Don agreed to give the two bodies back that would have been saved from the heavy cover. So that's the unit now. It's not down the three. It's down the five. He'll still move out and shoot them, though. Let's see, let's see what happens. All right, it's just going to be four whites into heavy cover, so we're just looking for crits. We didn't get anything. Okay, go to my stack. We've got Miss Leia. Or we already knew it was coming, guys. You did, too. I just realized I've been giving a Wicked an operative token when he should definitely have a commander token, so I'll have to fix that, too. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't play units. Often, I haven't played, I've only played Wicked a no, couple Wicked's times. No, Wicked's a commander. He's a commander. Yeah. I gave him an operative token for oh, this game. Oh, okay, yeah. See? <laughs> this turn didn't matter because he has a token, but I'm going to fix that. Okay, so Leia moves to there for her first action. I'm going to see who I have at range one to give dodges to. Not the Wookiee, so we'll give a dodge to these boys here who are out in front, these boys over here who are hurt, and then herself. All righty. My T-Series is going to do some T-Series things here. We're going to pop a shot into these um, Ewoks here, and then we are going to move... This is your leader. So we're going to move like right over to here just to maintain some closeness to things so I can give orders when I need to, and that will be him. Okay. All right, so this is just going to be a red and a white sharpshooter. One is going to take their light cover down to no cover, so no cover shenanigans for them this time. And it's going to be two. Remember those two I brought back from the heavy cover shot? They're about to go again. Oh, hey, That's only one fun. goes. Go to my stack. we got a core. Let's go with these boys here. they got two suppressions from last round being hit by a couple things. We get one off. That's only enough for one action, though. Okay. So I think what we're going to do with them... Hmm. Um, we might just we might actually just hop over this thing here. Just hopping on over. Yeah, we're just gonna hop behind this bomb cart. Help, we're gonna help push it. Right? We're gonna push it real good, sir. I'll push it real good. All right, we're gonna go to our stack. It's the tank, so it's gonna be this guy here. AI aim is gonna kick in, and then we are gonna do a move. I'll go in this so one. He okay. is gonna go here, and then we're gonna end our movement in a way that the bomb doesn't go off we'll because it can't a bit see more. it. Touch more. I mean, how can the bomb see it from here? I'll help him we'll look off camera. He decided to eat the bomb because there's no way it. to use the bomb. We have to see if it blows up. It might not. It might, might be fine. Oh, I'm sure it will. This is going to be one of those great surge moments. Don't roll the surge. Oh, oh it's fine. It's, uh, it's just not going to blow up at all. It's fine. Okay. okay. Alrighty. And He's then, uh, yeah, that's, that's them. Go to my staff. We got Wookiees. So, Wookie Wookiees. They're indomitable. They're going to take off that one suppression. No problem. Unless you're Chewbacca, then he does not roll right to face proof. Because of reasons. Very important reasons. Yeah, so we're going to kind of march behind this ladder here. It is kind of more difficult sometimes. Yep, yep. The thing. ladders make things challenging. Okay, and then we're going to... I think we're going to really pressure things here. Ooh, getting on in. All I, up on I, I am. I'm going to come to about right here, a little shy of a full movement. Okay. And then we're going to uh, chill there. Sounds good. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go with the B2s that are on the tank. They are going to disembark because they don't want to eat the Dex Bomb when it happens. So we'll pop out here. We'll move somewhere over here. We're well out of range one, so the bomb's not going to go off from this movement here. And then uh, let me do some measuring and see where I want to do what I want to do for their second action. All right, so in their current location, he's just going to be able to charge them with that Wookiee anyway. So they'll just start moving to be more functional. So they'll move right here. And Starting to flank us. That will be them. Look at my stack. We've got these boys, the Slingers, that got hurt by those B1s earlier. Let's see if we can rally. We do rally. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my hard work. I love that. That wasn't supposed to happen at all. Uh, we're going to get range two of these boys. That's the first one. Yeah, I can definitely get there. I get searched to crit if I move that way. I think I'm going to move that way, actually. So I'll move them over that way right now, and then I will um, sling some rocks at them. All righty. These booger flingers are going to be throwing some some stuff at me. Okay, the slingers throw a black dice each at range two. 
I believe, making sure. Yes. With primitive, won't matter because they don't have armor. armor. But I will spend this lovely last of their get token on them to get search to crit for four blacks. It's heavy cover. I don't want to use the ability. It's probably not going to do much. Ooh. One crit. Making them roll for it, at least. And that's dead be one. I did pass, so it's going back to Joe. Back He's to me. Wicket. We're going to go with a good old Wicket boy here. Wicket. He's like, I wish they were stormtroopers, but they're not. So this is less than the height one, so we can climb over it. So we're just gonna climb over, pop out this end here. Sure. All right, first action, we have relentless. So our next action will be to just uh charge. Charge into these boils, right into that corner right there. Okay. Alrighty. I'll let Rico here and we'll swing. Okay, up. Wicked's not injured, so nasty doesn't kick in yet, but he does have two reds and a black dice. Pierce one. Surge and crit. So we're going to have two Pierce 1 on those Ewoks. We have a lot of blank red things from both of us. Ewoks. Ewoks. What did I say? Ewoks? Okay. That's two down. Big. All right. We're going to go ahead and go with the tank here. It is going to move for its first action. Let's do this without knocking over all of the things. We are going to move. Look, look guys. Right it's in a the tank. way here. <laughs> and then I think what we're going to do is we are going to shoot something. Get range two. No, we're out of range two. So I think we will shoot. Um, we'll shoot the main gun and see if we can't pop that guy off there. Mm -hmm. And then we'll put the range two gun into the rebel troopers right there. Okay. All right. So the easy ones, the single rainbow into the rebel troopers. This is impact and ion, so nothing's gonna happen to them here. Uh, it is gonna be after cover takes that one. I have to roll that because I have a dodge, but I can't use that without situational awareness, which I do right now. We're okay. Yeah, just fine. And then our main gun is one red, two black, two whites into the ATRT. It is imp or no impact, but critical one. This may be where the ATRT falls. I doubt it. You don't we'll, think so? We'll see. No. no. Nope, not at all. No, not with that roll. Okay, we're going to core. Let's go with the Ewoks over here. They see everyone else charging and slicing and eating, and they hear horns blasting. So they're like, I want to have fun too. Sure. Why wouldn't you? Mm. Trying, to bait a <laughs> Trying to debate if a climb is faster. You know what I mean? Climb over here. Well, let's take a look. It's not a huge difference. I think they can get a tiny bit farther if they climb over this little log. So, doopa 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 doop. And then a clever climb would get me to about the token, or I can run around the outside to there, which is pretty much the same kind of difference. Slightly farther through range too. So let's let's just run this way, and we're like looking at those. <laughs> Don't worry, Wicket, we're coming. <laughs> All righty, that's them. Last well, the rebel troopers. These rebel troopers. You know, they're feeling kind of frisky, Don. I think w they don't really want to... They don't need to move at the moment. Sure. So I think an aim and crit fishing on this tank. We just, Let's aim and It's blocking the way, so I have to do something about it. You should. It's just four black because the med droid, he doesn't know how to shoot. With an aim token. <laughs> Looking for crits. He's got, a, he's got a Healy arm. No crits so far. Swing the aim on these two. Oh! We rolled a double. <laughs> yeah, here on the aim. We'll take it. Oh, just... Uh, just the thing there. End of round. That was only two. That's only two. Round of round two. He's got this tank coming around the mountain. We've got some B2s and another tank. So his flanking maneuver is starting to head this way to cut me off. We're going to move the cart here in a second because we forgot to move him again. We have killed uh, some B1 units. That's about it so far. Our friend Alan, who you've seen on the channel, really doesn't like droids because of AI. And this is the game that really shows off that AI is going to lose me this game. <laughs> Yep, yep. Usually, AI doesn't affect you too much in most games. Not usually, no. But this one, yeah, I think this one's going to hurt you. Especially with that tank really hurt over there. It was a good idea to place it over there to kind of sneak to me, but then you realize, I think you realized a little bit after I realized placing, after like, placing oof, it. Oof. Yeah, it, was, it was bad. So. Okay, let's go to round three. There's a lot of things of mine in melee range he has to deal with now. So let's see how this goes. Go round three. We have Ambush. He gets to go first. I went with No Time for Sorrow. It's a Leia 2-pip. When a friendly trooper unit is issuing an order, it may perform a speed one move. Well, we're getting a command card. We both know at the same time that Leia doesn't have unreal connections. So she cannot issue the Ewok. So what I want to do was issue an order to that Ewok so it charges the battle droids. Issue an order to that Ewok so it charges the other battle droids. But I couldn't. So I issued an order to the Wookiees. They moved up speed one, not in range. I wish I would have moved them to full speed two last round because I think they would have been. And I issued an order to this rebel trooper unit who did the speed one to there. With that, he did his order chain. Yeah, so I, I gave the B2s an order, and then I issued that, or directed over there, and then trained up. He gets to go first. I'm assuming B2s? Yeah, 100%. Let's do it. What are they doing? Uh, he didn't get that far. Let's think. Yeah. All right, let's aim and shoot the Ewoks and see if we can't whittle them down a little bit. Yep, All right, it's just triple rainbow into the Ewoks. They have what's Russian, which gives them heavy cover because of low profile. Oh, good. 
get the aim going here. And hey, at least something happened. So three. Three is enough to pretty much it's four not enough up. to kill them, so it didn't matter. I will lose three. Okay, originally the Wookiees were going to eat some B2s, but now the B2s went and shot my good buddy the Ewoks. We're going to go take a, a unit over here. I think we're going to move up once. And actually, the T-Series looks kind of tasty too. They both have the same health, right? Four? Yep. They both have the same defense dice. Yep. I feel like your T-Series is more crucial than your four B1s at this point. So I'm actually going to hop over these B1s sure. to right here and base this T-Series and see if we can get a little hungry with our charge. I have a feeling you're going to be just fine in killing him. Two black each whatever guys with six blacks for them the wookies are in battle offensive mode so they get two reds um we search hit natively let's see what he let's see what we get <laughs> it's, it's a pretty good roll <laughs> just it's a seven pack don <laughs> okay we hit two four six seven whites my friend block one all right well let's go with the b1s and we'll aim and punch wicket for no reason all right four whites for the aim got one so far all right, dodge it away. I will be dodge just it. Fine. So bullet comes back. I'm gonna well, the ATRT somehow gets to go a third time. We're gonna see if we get one or two actions because there's a snail in front of us. We only get one. We will just shoot the laser right at him. We're just Why gonna not? Shoot it right at him. Do that. Black's red impact three surge to crit into this fully armored snail. Just one. Just one. He blocked hey, it. Look, look at that. that. Right, we'll go with the silver B ones here. They're gonna run away from these furry things here. They will uh, shoot into some. Um, Ewoks and call it a day. No cover. Three in cover, four out of cover. Coverless. All right, four white dice into no cover Ewoks. Hey, look at crit. So far, you're definitely making me roll for one. Yeah. I only block on block. No surges. We take one. We lose a guy. Okay, Court, let's go with the Rebel unit down um, the trooper here. We're going to take a recover action and bring their um, iron gun back, and then we'll shoot the iron gun into him. Let's do it. Three black sugar troopers has done to kill one of them earlier. Two reds for the ion gun. It is impact one, ion one. No surging. He has armor. So we're just going to make it just, just one crit. He just needs one block to negate this ion. All right, let's yeah. go to the sack here. It's, it's the tank we needed to get last time. And uh, we'll go with this guy instead. And uh, he'll AI aim because that's what he's got to do. Um, and then I'll find my speed one tool here. We'll do a good old-fashioned reposition. This is the fastest speed one in the game. And then we will go over here. We'll move this pile of damage. A lot of damage. And we'll, we'll just up my cart route. We'll go right there. Um, we'll, we'll roll this red dice to see how many times this bomb hits me. It's none still. That's oh cool. Oh my god, this bomb is a dud. And uh, then we will... Uh, that, we'll, uh, that's it. You we'll aim to move. Yeah. Go to my stack. We've got these Ewoks here. Let's see if they get one or two action here. Two. Two. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you get one? He says. I don't think there's a lot of game left, um, so I'm going to tap call to arms to gain the suppression to be able to charge. Sure. So that way I can take an aim first. Yeah. Because I don't okay. have that lovely surge of crit that they did earlier. Because Wicked's yeah. card's gone. I mean, it was super helpful last time. And I think we'll just move into the back of these B ones right here. We'll come around the side here. Yeah. Let's do it. So that way, if we can kill them magically, we'll free them for Wicked for Wicked to do something else. So I we're gonna a try. Feeling you'll know, very easily kill them here. Six black dice for the regular, one red for the axe. It's going to have pierce one. I do have an aim. I don't surge, unfortunately. So it looked really good. It's it's only three. So just three pierce one. Just three pierce one. I guess those B1s are living for, they for are. Wicked, wicked to wicked kill. And nope, not even having to pierce it. All right, go to the stack here. It's going to be our droidy boys. They are going to AI move. And we're just going to move down the stairs here. Uh, with the AI move, so that maybe, for some reason, if I want to keep playing, we'll go that way to get our cart. I will shoot into the the lone bear here and uh, go to the dice box. He's gonna have heavy done or heavy plus with low profile down the light, light back up to heavy with the low profile keyword. You know how it works. All right, six white search to hit into heavy cover down to light back up to heavy with low profile and a couple Another crits. That'll be nice. Crit. This one will search to hit but go to cover, so two crits. You natty this out. I'm throwing a chair at you. Uh Two light dice, two blocks. It's not going to happen. Not even one. See, he's dead. Okay, we're going to go with Wicked over here. Unfortunately, Wicked um, does have to kill this B1. So we're going to go take an aim and... and Why do I just... I have Pierce 1. You know what? We'll just swing away so I can move in maybe to the next one and keep them tied up. Why not? Two reds in the black, Pierce 1. We just need one paint here. We got two. He's dead. Right, now with that B1 droid gone, we're going to 
We're going to move wickets. You guys remember when droids used to be like, oh, the droids, they're swarms. They're so hard to kill because there's so many health. And now they're just like, nope, they're just garbage with no health anymore. <laughs> It's okay, Doug. He he has the crown on in spirit right now, guys. I I'm not wearing it three three videos in a row. All right, I'm going to the stack. It's the tank. It has it has an ion token, so its first action is to get rid of an ion token. Its AI is gonna kick in, which is AI aim, so it will take an aim, and that is the tank's actions. Thank you for playing this game. From the stack, we've got uh, special forces. Let's take an aim, and we'll throw some rocks out uh, these BX. The bugger flickers. All right. Aim token, four black dice into the light cover BX droids. Starting with two, that's means you're rolling something. Let's spend the aim if you can get any more. Why wouldn't you get them all? We'll lose one, you roll three. My last in my stack is the B2s. AI attack kicks in, but they can't see this guy. Nope. We did say that you can't shoot up through here, so yeah, we can't it's solid. see. Um, so what they're going to do is they're just going to step on out here. They're going to take a shot into him now that they can see him. He's got two health left. Can he survive? And we'll see what happens. All right, here's the triple rainbow into heavy cover Wookiee. And it's going to be two. That's that. If I blank, if I don't get one block on these, you kill it. One block saves it. Am I one with the force and the force is with me? Well, we're just going to, we're just going to, we're going to be right back, guys. Don's taking a moment to collect himself and <laughs> eat some Reese's, so we're going to go ahead and, and pull Leia. So I'm doing this one-handed real quick. Leia's going to, um, ugh, you can see what I'm measuring here. I want to get in range one of that bomb cart there, which we can easily do. So we'll move up to the range one of that bomb cart, touching this train here. And then we're going to um, see if we have range two on anything to shoot it. Oh, I hope you do. Just the tank. So let's shoot, oh. we'll shoot the tank for fun. Three black dice. Um, Sharpshooter won't matter. I do search to crit and pierce one. So if you roll any crits or surges, his tank will take it. So it's going to be one pierce one in the tank. Sweet. Go to my stack. We've got the Wookiee. He's got two suppression, but he's in Domino. Let's see if he can get one off. There we go. Your red dice have shields on. So he'll, um... Hey, you can just climb down from there if you wanted to. Since he's got scale, but we'll do it this way. Move once to here, which takes me to here. And then our second move will be to here. And we'll melee some B2s who shot at me. Let's do it. Okay, he's got two black dice for melee. One red because it's nasty because his whole crew's gone. And he's throwing into armor one B B2s. And I have searched it. So one will go to armor, rolling for one. Into my stack, we've got a core here. He's got suppression. Let's see if he gets one or two actions. Just one, just one. Um, oh geez. You know what we'll do? We'll move up to get closer to this card as well. That's the name of the game. Second action will be to just, uh, that's it, one action, because they didn't roll it. All right. All right, last in my stack are the Healy um, Rebel Troopers. They don't really heal anything at the moment. So you know what? They got a couple crits through last time, so they'll aim and see if they can throw any more crits. I hope they, I hope they get them all. Black with an aim, looking for natty crits. None there. Let's try one more time with an aim. That one. Good, good. Why bring armor, right? Okay, there's a lot of tanks blocking my cart, so my cart diverged to that way. His cart, unfortunately, won't be able to move. I've got uh, one, two, Maybe you have two three, right one there. Three or two? Either way, I have more than him. Because I have Wicket plus Wicket's Warriors plus the Wookiees, I think. Might... The Wookiees aren't in. The Wookiees are out. Okay, so it's... Well, it's... The Wookiees are real far away. Are they real far away? I mean, this this is touching the cart, not the actual... It's true, it's true. Circle. Two to one, so it doesn't move either way. Wicket kind of blends in with his army. It's a separate unit. Um, With that, let's... Uh, what else? Let's go to round three. Yeah. Where the Wookiee and the ATRT may finally fall. For double three pip turn, he went with Roger Roger. When in units issue an order using this card against either Dodger or Surge, and I went with Courageous Counterattack. This is Wicked two units. This round, um, it's the Bright Tree or we'll call it the Bears. Trooper unit with a face up order token change their courage value to unlimited. When a trooper in this unit has a face up order token and performs an attack this round, add one white dice to the attack rule for every wound taken. Or wound token, excuse me, or defeated miniature in that unit. So it gives me it gives me a way to hit. So I gave it to Wicket, his Ewok buddies, and those Wookies. So that way, if these guys get hit really hard, they can still swing. Um, I also roll the dice. It gets going to him to start. He gave it over here. We'll start with him. All right, we'll go. Uh, we'll go with our commanders, which are the B twos now, and uh, we will uh, aim and shoot into the uh, Wookies. It's the image of the B ones going, sir. What do we do? And then B twos just like shoot them. Like that's all. That's all it does. That's all right? it is. It just knows how to shoot them. All right, triple rainbow, no cover Wookiees with an aim. 
It's uh, it's it's, it's not great so to start with. You roll a lot of shit with those guys. Okay, there you go. Okay, just five. Five. So you're definitely killing a wolfie, that's for sure. And that feels very much worth this five dice attack. I got one, so you're gonna do four, so you'll kill a Wookiee and injure put a win another Wookiee. Yeah. We got Ooh, the ATRT. Perfect. It's gonna go again. How many actions get one? We're just gonna shoot the tank. Let's do it. Two blacks, one red, impact three, search to crit. Well, this one's all of them. We'll search to crit, and then impact two of the three will hit these two. So it's gonna be three crits against that snail. Are you in breaking territory now? Uh I think if all three of these go through, yes. Hey look! We get to break now. This is gonna be so fun. Cool. cool. All right, well, let's uh, go with the tank that's now broken. So this will decide if it gets to do anything. It doesn't. So what he's meaning is his first, he only gets one action because he didn't have an order. He has to AI, AI aim. aim. So, so he's AI aiming, and that's the end so, of his activation. So fun. Hey, we're my sec. We got a core. And, you know, since we're getting close to the end here, I think what we're going to do is we're going to double move and heal the one wound off that Wookiee over here because I don't know how much longer um, the Wookiee's going to be alive or... How many more opportunities I'll have to use this heal. So we'll spend one of my heal on my med droid to heal that Wookiee off, and he's fine. Okay, great. All right, let's go over here to the stack. It's going to be the other tank. AI aim is going to kick in, and then we are going to go ahead and shoot just through the little, barely through the line there. And we're going to see if we got the power to put down the ATRT. No, all just power, sir. All right, so our shells cycle back. So we have uh, two reds and one white for the shells, and then one red, two blacks, two whites for our. Main gun, critical, critical two, one, critical two. two. No impact. There's, there's a crit. There's a crit there. We got aim. critical one. We have a chance um, to get another one. We'll spend the aim. We do have uh, um, precise. precise two. Roll four. You got two crits. Two whole crits. So as long as I don't nanny bolt these, he's dead. Oh, he's already dead. We already know. So he died. He went down. It only took all of this, the whole game. The whole game. When did ATRTs become your thing? I don't understand how this could happen. Okay, let's move our Ewok into them. They already have you popped their charging call to arms card last round. Mm -hmm. But the leader's here, so they're definitely close enough. So we're just going to move to here, touching these guys. And these guys will swarm them, and then we will swing with our second action. Let's do it. Six blacks for the other guys. One red, pierce one, impact one won't matter for the axe. Um, no surging. See what happens. It's only three. It looked, it looked, oh, that was a crit. It looked really good, but, um, Sergius. Pierce one, though. Uh, he forgot he had a dodge. I told him to just take one less B1 off, and he spent his dodge. Yeah, so we'll, we'll go with the B1s, and, okay. and they'll, they'll, uh, they'll, they'll aim and punch Wicket. Okay. We changed our mind. We're aiming and punching Wicket's warriors. <laughs> Aha! Spend the aim. Aha! Wow, that was a nice double blank and a double crit. That was nice. I'll take two off. Okay, fortunately, these Wookiee Warriors are just out of reach of the B2s and the um, lovely BX droid, so it ends about there. Mm -hmm. So we can't get there. So we'll move up to about, let's do it the right way. We'll move to here, just to kind of reposition here. And then we'll shoot our pistols into that lovely BX droid. Let's do just it. Just hoping we can kill him. Here's a dodge, heavy cover, I have three blacks, three whites, surging to hit with my pistols. We only get two through, which is just going to be a suppression. Nice. All right, we're going to go over to my stack. It's the B2s. They'll AI attack and punch this Wookiee, and then they'll dodge. Wookiee's back up to three health, so he needs three pain. Or no, three hits, excuse me, out of these four to make me have a chance of dying here. All right, in melee, we roll one black. It's it's nothing. <laughs> it is. Those B2s only know how to shoot. They weren't sure how to use their They arms. don't know how to shoot. What are you even talking about? Well, not these B2s in general. They just need a software. Not my B2s. They just, they're, too, they're out of range with the command ship to get that software feedback. You know, you know. Right on my stack, we've got the slingers up here. And they are still well within range of um, the BX droids. So we'll take an aim and we will um, throw into him. I think he's only going to have light cover from here from them. That's correct. Four black dice with an aim and a surge token, actually, because that actually could help here if we need it. We'll spend the aim. If I do that, I make you spend the dodge. Sure, why not? We'll spend we'll spend the surge. You want to spend your dodge two to yep. no, only one to cover because you have light one. It's the other one to dodge. You have to actually roll one here with that surge token spend. That is something. He's fine. All right, so we got two suppression on the BX droid. He rolls both of them off like a boss. What's he gonna do? Uh, he's gonna run. Where's he running towards? The cart. The cart. Makes sense. So he will 
do some B2 hardcore parkour over that. Mm -hmm. And then more B2 hardcore parkouring, but he's just running straight. Okay. And that'll be that. Going with Wicket, he's gonna Wicket's take an gonna aim. Take an aim, and we're just gonna hit the uh, B1 superficial. You forgot to mention that I had a dodge for that last attack, and so we used that. So there's two health left in this B1. We mentioned it when we played. Oh, did we? Oh, yeah. okay. Two red, one black, surge to create pierce one with an aim token. Well, there's two so far. Let's spin the aim, see if we can get one more. No, so two pierce one. You need, you need two natty blocks here to survive. Can you get it? No. No. Nope, not even any. It's all joking. Go to my stack. This is Leia. That is Leia. Leia's going to continue to um, march towards her cart because that's what good commanders do, I guess. I don't know. She'll march. I think it's still out of range there, but we already have two in control there. And then we will um, shoot that tank. Let's do it. Three black dice, surge to crit, pierce one. Looking for crits. Got one, pierce one. One more damage right. through. Go to my stack. Special forces is going to be him. He will aim and punch. Sure. Okay, we have an aim token. We have two blacks plus nasty is another red. Search to hit with an aim token. He's got armor one and a dodge. We really need three hits through here. Okay. Um, so armor one one. You want to dodge one? I do. Oh, actually, hang on. I'm going to spend the aim to make it duelist. I'm going to reroll these two looking for crits because there's no reason to not just try for more crits. Okay, so now it's one pierce one. Yep. All right, I've got some rebel troopers. They're just going to recover their ion and shoot their ion launcher into this thing. Let's do it. Okay, two reds with the ion gun, four black sugar guys. We have ion one and impact one shooting into this fully armored vehicle. We're going to get uh, two. We'll impact one. The rest fall to armor. So two. That's all you have left. Two health, right? That's it. Let's get finish you. No, you survive with one. Last of my stack are these boys here. They're going to go ahead and uh, aim and shoot the tank. Why are you looking at me like this is a weird thing? I just make sure that sounds right to you, dog. is on fire. Blue Electricity shaking because it's slightly ion. I got four blacks looking for a crit. See if we can put this thing down. Oh, misses one. Okay, we're gonna spend the aim. No, not even a hit. Wow. Okay, I moved my bomb card because I had two to his one. So I moved it to there. So we we're just about getting there finally. Unfortunately for him, I had two to his zero over here because his BX was just out of range one, which wouldn't have helped anyways because I had two left with wickets. Yeah. With that and his amount of losses and his tank on the one and the AI really hurting him, he's gonna call it here, guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it was, it was a, it was a game. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just, you know, we, we keep telling ourselves we can't say it's because of the dice. <laughs> no, because we, we got, can't say it's because of the dice, but well, sometimes since, since, it feels... Since like, I won this one, I'm going to say, I think the dice helped me a lot, so dice, I'll give it to you on that one. The dice helped you a lot. I mean, uh, I mean, my, my idea was to have the, the two tanks and the B2s over here just to do this, but to which the tanks did. Yeah. I just, I forgot about the AI and how much that was going to hurt this tank. Yeah, I think if um, I had to check out two things, is one, I think having your B2s and the tank over there for like two rounds into nothing yeah. really hurts you. Yeah. Really hurts you. And then you really couldn't get them pulled over fast enough. And then these B2s, poor B2s did nothing. Yep. So I think that hurt you. And then the dice didn't help you either. <laughs> just, just every time you shot me, two things were dying or wounds were going through. And then the other surprising thing, I know you're coming to block it, but this tank, when he was over here, I thought for sure you were going to swing him this way to cut off my... Wookiees from charging you, my Ewoks from charging you. That would have stopped all that charging. But since you didn't come that way, the Wookiees had a clear path to your stuff. Yeah, but then you would have just gone around the other way. And, I could have. And then your your bomb cart would have moved through. That was, the, the tank stopping the bomb cart was the only way I had sure. a, a chance of winning. That. In my mind, though, like I think you would have slowed all the melee, except for Wickets, down by a whole turn, if not a tur if not two turns with the Ewoks. Maybe. Maybe. But um, I don't know if that would have changed the outcome, of course. Yeah. That was just the only other thought I had. Yeah, I, I mean, I, 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 I get trying to have the the snails with the attack protocols, because they throw it. The dice pool is nice, but I feel like you've stapled defense protocols on Defense protocols is 100% the and best And you just, you just staple it there. And it Because, it, like, there were several turns where I just sat there with an aim, and I'm like, if this was a nimble dodge without maneuver... You'd be fine. I he would not be almost dead. No, he, he would no, be fine. fine. So, I I, I I get what you were looking at, but it just and maybe like a field commander. I'm gonna be honest. Another T series. I looked at this list and I was like, I don't know about this list. Not for playing, I'm like, this is pretty solid. The only thing I think I would do differently, just to share, is I probably would drop probably vigilance for the points and put um, underworld connection so she can actually order the Ewoks would be really helpful. That would probably be helpful. And then I'd have more points to also put a couple other things out there that I want to. So like maybe, maybe uh, I guess this list it did fun because it had ionable things, but I think I would switch one of these to like a Z6 yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah, ion really ruined ruined my tank's turns for sure. But other than that, it's a solid list. Um, it, it, 
Rushing, last time I was on the channel, which was back all the way back to Battle Force Beatdown, I dropped the Ewoks, and I was against the Yoda Wookiee list. So I didn't want to charge in there because his Wookiees were a little better. So I held them back, but I think I held them back a turn too long, which cost yeah, me a match. Yeah. So this time, as you guys saw, I was uber aggressive with my Ewoks just to really get in there, and it worked. It did. B1s, go figure. B1s don't do well in melee. Who no, knew? No, I, they don't do... B1s don't do well in most situations. You threw some good crits with them, though, in the range. Oh, really? Because the ATRT would disagree with you. It's it, towards the end. In the <laughs> beginning, it was like two, two through, two, two through. You it broke, did. you broke. I me broke in the first it two in shots. the first round. Yeah, the first two shots, and then it just died in round four. Yeah, yeah. Well, so sad. Yeah, but. it happens. It happens. Um, but you know, Team Don's gonna need need to do some work uh, to figure out if you can play this game without rolling dice and win. That's probably gonna be the only way I can win. So here. next week we'll build a list. And we'll, I won't tell you what I'm running, you won't tell me what you're running, and we'll see how it goes then. And that's what we do most weeks, but like, yeah? we won't even give our theme. Because sometimes I'm like, Don, build like a Hothi list to go with this Hoth mat. No, we'll just build any it's list you like, want. Don, build a list, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to bring Dark Troopers. And you're like, okay, I'll bring a, an Anakin Saber Throw Impact 12 list. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I, I did ask you before, did you want Rebels or Republic? You, you said, did? I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Probably halfway through that match, he was like, I should have picked Rebels. <laughs> But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this match. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing the Ewoks do some Ewok things. Double Snail, I think, might be one of the very few times, if not the first time on the channel. Very much the first time on the channel. For um, the I do snail. love Bob's uh, Gary Snail Tank. Yep, he, he did a great job with that. Looks great. So thanks for letting us borrow that for this. Um, eventually, I know a couple people have asked for like the 12 or 14 Ewok list. I have seven units of Ewoks. I don't want to paint any more Ewoks. I also painted two boxes worth of Shatterpoint Ewoks, which will be coming on Shatterpoint very soon, guys. Um, I don't even think in our community we have an additional... I don't think we have... A, I think we have additional two in the whole community because most of the players so. around me are not Rebels. There are a lot of Imperial, a lot of Droids, some Republic, and I think Eric, one other. Eric, who's been on the channel, I think painted one of his units of Ewoks. Yeah, that's one. But he only ever runs Luke Skywalker, so you he just never has need for more than one, you know? Yep, it's true. Shout out. It's Eric <laughs> and his Luke Skywalker nonsense. <laughs> but anyways, don't forget to comment below uh, mini Wookiees to get double entries for all that. Go to Depticon swag that AMG was kind to give to us. Obviously, the Poggle box wasn't given by AMG. That was from the Depticon swag bag. I'm donating. The rest of that was given to us uh, by Will Schick over at AMG. So thank you very much. We have much, much more stuff at Depticon. If you guys go back to our social media posts, you can see all the goodies. We have bumpers to give away, more foils, more exclusive cards, tons of cards and stuff for Shirepoint as well. Stay tuned, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.